A vigil to remember a motorcyclist killed in a crash takes an unexpected turn. There are reports hundreds of people showed up. Spencer Tracy has been out there. Last time we spoke, Spencer, there was crime scene tape up. What are you seeing now? So that crime scene tape is still up and we just got a new update from West Allis Police. They tell me they are monitoring the area, but they haven't made any arrests. Now, the main thing that's going on right now is there was burnouts on the street and there's actually crews. You're going to see this vehicle come up right on me. They're clearing off the streets right now. And this is all for that vigil where a 21 year old motorcyclist was killed. Now, police say it got out of control. So now crews are out here clearing off those burnouts. Now, police say they got called here after large crowds gathered in the streets. Now, viewer video shows the crowds of people surrounded by clouds of smoke, cars doing burnouts, motorcycles in the streets, and crowds just blocking off the road. Now, neighbors say they saw close to 200 people and even heard fireworks. We got that video. It was close to six minutes long showing all of those burnouts, the motorcycles, people really gathering in the crowds. And that's what led to multiple police departments from all over to come in and contain the scene and clear the crowds. Now, as for the crash, we learned today police say the motorcyclist was likely speeding when a car pulled out in front of him and then hit him. Police say the 21 year old died on scene. Now we spoke with neighbors tonight and they saw what happened and they talk about the impact it had in the neighborhood. We don't want this. I mean, I completely understand memorials and there's ways of going about it, but they have no consideration for the f for for our neighborhood for for us as as people now, West Allis police say that most of the crowd dispersed around 8:15 p.m. But as you can see, they are still out here, and they tell me they didn't tell me exactly what time they will continue to be out here. But multiple streets of 92nd and Arthur are blocked off on all sides. Kind of the crime tape they've lifted it, but it's still kind of up on certain sections. But as of now, they said no arrests have been made. Of course, once we get more information, we will give that to you. For now, reporting live from 92nd and Arthur, Spencer Tracy. Five it's kind of hard to tell there's a truck behind you. Is that part of the cleanup crew? They're trying to clean up the, the burnouts. What's behind you? Yes, I don't know if you could hear during when I was speaking kind of that loud noise. Yeah. So yes, there is if I can show my photographer so you can see kind of on the roads. There's a lot of lines of burnouts and there's crews right now cleaning the streets going up and down the road. So yes, that is a cleaning crew. They're cleaning it up. They should probably be out here for a couple hours, but it's these marks of burnouts are probably I would say at least five to six blocks of this whole street. So but that's the cleanup crew. Big mess out there. Spencer Tracy reporting live for us in West Dallas tonight.